recap last weekend uh, against Evansville, um, getting getting able to get outside at our own own ballpark and have a home opener was was fantastic. The biggest challenge on the weekend was was the wind on on Friday. Uh, it was blowing out straight out to left at about 20 to 35 miles an hour, maybe more at times. Um, it actually didn't didn't factor too much into the game. I didn't feel like. Um, <clears throat> The biggest, the biggest way it factor. I mean, a couple of home runs um, were wind aided, but for the most part, the balls that were hit out um, would have been out on a normal day. So, not like there was a huge advantage there. Um, the pitching perspective, I felt like it did have a little bit of an effect on how pitchers' balls were moving um, as they were throwing straight into the wind. But for the most part, I felt like if they used it right, it gave them an advantage. Um, I know our pitchers were able to move some pitches a little bit more, having that wind blowing right in their face. So um, I think the biggest challenge was defensively. There were some drop fly balls and some extra opportunities given on both sides that kind of came out in the wash. But felt like we were we were able to capitalize on those really well and and take advantage of things. But um, I think the thing that made me the most happy was we finally put three games together that. Um, we, we competed well in all phases. Uh, we started to hit the ball. We got some clutch hits. Um, we took advantage of some free bases. Um, we, we were probably the best we've been on the base pass as far as taking extra bases and, and hustling and, and some of that effort stuff. Um, so it was great to see. And, and obviously, we were able to come out on top in all three games and um, you know put ourselves in a really good position to take you know, take the lead on Evansville in the in the league and get into that top half and um, set ourselves up for the next couple weeks. Um, looking forward this week, uh, we've got Iowa State coming to town on Wednesday. Hopefully, weather permitting, uh, we'll do everything we can to get those games in. Uh, and then so far, the future forecast uh, for the weekend on Saturday and Sunday, we've got Valparaiso coming to town for a weekend series. And uh, like I said, so far that looks good uh, for weather. Uh, for this weekend. So really excited to get back on the field and see if we can continue this uh, momentum and continue to get better. Any questions? Coach, uh, what, uh, you know, what can you take from that very, very first game against Iowa State and apply to this game on Wednesday? Um, you know, yeah, I, number one, it's another shot at them. I think um, you know, anytime we're playing in-state rivals, you know, uh, you know, you get an opportunity to win those games. That's big, um, and to get another opportunity to play them and, and hopefully, you know, respond and recover from you know our non-competitive performance early in the year. Um, but I think the thing watching Iowa State this year, they're they're competing well. They've got a really good team. Things are rolling for them. Um, you know, they they've been really. Uh, Competing well in the Big 12, um, you know they had a game, couple of games against Oklahoma. Where in the past, Oklahoma's kind of boat raced them, and they haven't had a, a, a chance. But they were in ball games and they were competing. And, and this year, Oklahoma's just heads and tails above just about every other team that I've seen as far as their stats and their numbers. And up and down the lineup, they've got like seven kids hitting over 500, and that's just unbelievable to me. But um, so, you know, they're competing well against them, had some really tough games against Oklahoma State, um, and just have done a nice job. Uh, Coach Pinkerton's done a really good job putting together this club, and, and they're solid all the way through. There isn't any glaring weaknesses. Pitching's been great. Their defense has been phenomenal, and offensively, they've just been very, very consistent. What they did in the Dome tournament, they've continued to do um, all throughout the season. So um, it's a tough task, I think. I don't know that this team um, – you know, you play 10 games against them. I don't know how we would fare just by our inexperience, but um, <clears throat> anxious to see how our team responds with getting kind of blown out by them early in the season to see if they can respond and uh, have a little bit different mentality going into this next game. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Jake, how do you approach the pitching for a midweek game? Interesting. Um, yeah. We're gonna um, we're gonna get some kids some work definitely that haven't um, you know we were we were able to get Sammy higher in some games this weekend um, but KP and Oler have just done such a good job on the weekends in those three games that there hasn't been much opportunities to get get those kids in the game and 
and we feel comfortable with them getting in the game. So it's not like um, they're kids that aren't aren't ready to compete. They're not going to give us a chance. They're not, you know, it's not not that type of a situation. It's just they haven't. We haven't had opportunities to get them in games, and um, so this will be a great opportunity for us. I'm glad we're getting some midweeks because we have kids that need to get in games and need to get some work and some experience. And you know, we feel great about them competing against whoever midweek, and um, so. It'll be a great, great chance for some of those other kids to get in the game and, and see what they can do and, um, you know, let Older and, and Packard get ready for the weekend. Uh, we got another big weekend coming up against Valpo that we need to take care of business, so hopefully they'll be rested and ready. Coach, with your offensive uh, explosion this weekend, what's the most impressive thing for you, the the 45 runs, the number of different kids that were, that were going yard? What... Uh, what stands out to you? I think that uh, that everybody offensively had a hand in it. You know, it wasn't just, I mean, obviously Sammy Bunch did some things in that fourth inning of the first game that was just mind-boggling, haven't ever seen it before. Um, you know, people across the country are talking about that, that, that performance there, just in that inning alone. Uh, but overall, uh, the weekend, but it wasn't the Sammy Bunch show like it, it normally has been. It was everybody contributing. We had some kids. Brooke Snyder had a fantastic weekend. Darren Lamprick had some huge hits for us. Um, and we have some, some people that just, it was it was up and down the lineup. It didn't matter where we were at. Sammy Moss had a great weekend. I think she hit over 500 for the weekend very quietly because she had some other kids that were hitting balls out of the ballpark, and she was just hitting singles and doubles. Um but you know, it, for the most part, over the weekend, it was it was a great job. We, our on base percentage was like 600. It was unbelievable. So it wasn't just that we were knocking balls out of the park, but we were being selective, getting on base, and, and taking taking advantage of those situations. I was going to ask you, kind of the, the approach at the plate for all your kids. Did you see discipline? Did you see uh, aggressiveness, or or just that good mix you're looking for? You know, for the first time, it was um, they actually made some really good adjustments. Um, you know, we had a game plan going in. We kind of knew what we were going to see from Vetter in that first game. Um, so we kind of put our lineup out there that we knew was going to match up the best for how she was going to pitch us. Um, and it was funny because she pitched us exactly how we thought they w they would, and we weren't ready for it. <laughs> Um, we had the pitches we, we were we were expecting, and we swung at them, but we weren't on time. We weren't weren't in a position to take advantage of. It was almost kind of like, well, maybe she'll do it. I don't know. But I saw our hitters make good adjustments, and then you know when they adjusted, they brought in some other kids to kind of try to get us off balance, and we adjusted quicker than we ever have. Um, you know, and there, I'm starting to see some of the things that we've been working on in practice. Um, definitely done a better job with two strikes. Um, Definitely haven't let the moment get bigger than it really is, and and you can't, you know, I'm not seeing kids like in panic mode when there's runners in scoring position. They're they're a little bit more comfortable, um, and so <clears throat> seeing some of those adjustments was was really big, and and obviously they were getting more results, which uh, hopefully just continues to give them confidence to work in the process rather than chasing those results. They they weren't chasing them. We didn't set out to score 22 runs. Uh, but we set out to have a really good plan and have a good process and, and focus on the details, and they did that. And so hopefully we can continue to get them to believe in that.